Hello seekers, welcome to Puneet's Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. Moon will make its move in the sign of Gemini, therefore leaving the exaltation zodiac of Taurus. On the evening of 4th of May until the early morning of 7th, Moon will be in Gemini zodiac sign. Now, Saturn being in the sign of Aquarius no longer creates the Ashtam Dhaya, that means the difficult situation for the Gemini moon sign and therefore when moon moves in Gemini there is a relief. This is a very different movement of moon in Gemini zodiac. Not only that, within this period Mercury is going to move into Rohini nakshatra which is the nakshatra of Chandra. Mercury is in the sign of Taurus which is 12th from the Gemini zodiac, Mercury being 12th from where the moon will be. Therefore, this kind of combination is going to affect your mind a lot. The logical decision or the analytical understanding of a subject or an event in your life is going to affect your emotional side. So it will be difficult for you to choose whether to apply your emotions or to think logically. And whenever that happens, Either wait for just a couple of days, let moon move into Cancer zodiac sign for when moon moves into Karka Rashi, it is its own Rashi or mind and emotions will be in a much better state. But right now, this is the time when mind will be finicky, mind will be all over the place, thoughts will be uh, more towards financial security, thoughts will be more towards how to mitigate losses, how to mitigate risk. This Buddha being in the Rohini nakshatra and transformation from tra transit from Kritika to Rohini is going to shift the focus of the moon, that means of the mind, towards financial security, towards the need of the family. You might also feel lonely in this time and uh, you might feel the need. You may feel homesick if you are away from your own country or your own home. This is not a bad transit. Saturn and Mars, ninth from moon, will make you think more about your duties, your dharma. And it will make you feel connected towards your own responsibility. And then Saturn may pose a question that are you fulfilling your responsibility in this time frame? Now, observe that fifth from the moon will be Ketu. Ninth from the moon will be Saturn. So the trine of the moon is controlled by Ketu and Saturn and the dispositor of the moon which is Mercury is in the 12th house. So there's definitely this is going to be slightly difficult for people who are Gemini moon sign, Virgo moon sign. This is going to be slightly difficult in case you have an afflicted moon like Saturn moon conjunction in your chart or Ketu moon conjunction in your chart and also if you have Ketu in Gemini or Saturn in Gemini in your horoscope, then also it will be slightly difficult. For others, it will be business as usual. With little bit of confusion, do not take important decisions without proper analysis. And whenever you are confused whether to apply your emotions or you have to apply your intellect, it is better to take a second opinion. It is better to consult a learned person, maybe a friend, maybe a family member, but it is always good to have a second opinion in such situation. It is not a bad time, but it is just that a lot of information will influence your emotions. Overload of information can happen. So this is not the time when you are uh, overloading your sensory organ with too much of data, like a very long reading session, long hours of watching TV or some movies, over binging on, on food, over overwhelming your sensory organs is not the right thing to do in this small two-day time frame. Although chanting Vishnu Sahasranam, chanting Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya on these two days will bring you positive results, will bring you good results. It is a day after Akshay Tritya and it is a Vinayak Chaturthi, so definitely chanting Ganesh Atharva Shirish for next three days is also going to bring you the peace of mind. Now, 
because it is a Gemini zodiac sign, on fifth moon will be in Ardra nakshatra, and when moon moves to Ardra nakshatra, you have to be very careful, especially the second half of the fifth. The decisions that you will be taking uh, should be analyzed thoroughly, and especially if your decision is connected to family and finances, wealth management, and if you have to deal a situation at your own home, if you have to talk to a family member on an important matter, do it logically and do not give an emotional outburst or an emotional response. Try to contain and control that and release it in the positive manner. Now, if I see Jupiter with respect to this moon, it's, it's actually going to help the moon in more ways than you can imagine. Because if I see from Gemini, Jupiter will be in the 10th house, which is the Karma Bhumi of Chandra. That means your mental plane is actually guided by Jupiterian forces, Jupiterian energies, which is, which is actually good. That means this is the time when you will be able to distinguish between what you should do in your life and what you want to do. So there is always a difference between want and need. And this is the time when you can focus on the need and maybe want can wait. Or if, if, the, if what you want is what you actually need, then what are the ways you can achieve so you can give a thought on that. Nothing is negative in this transit. The second from the moon is aspected by Jupiter. So definitely it shows that it is a transit of action. And in spite of all the confusion, you will be able to come out of it and you will be able to perform well. And you can meditate, eat light food on this Saturday, donate some essential food items and clothing items to whomsoever uh, is, is needy of that item. Poor people, maybe your neighbor, anybody whom you think, try to help them. And this will help you overcome any mental dilemma, any sadness, anxiety. And if you are a patient of depression, anxiety, if you have some sort of of sadness inside you, negativity inside you, then this is this is the time when you can throw that negativity out by taking proper action, proper steps. So now is the time when you take initiatives to remove the negativity from your heart and chanting Ganesh Kavach, Ganesh Atharvashirsh will help you on that. So that was the that was about moon transit in the sign of Gemini. We'll connect you in the next video. I appreciate your time. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss another update. Follow me on social media like Telegram, Instagram and Facebook for more interesting stuff. We'll keep bringing such videos. Your support is needed. Join me on Patreon for some exclusive membership videos. I appreciate your time. We'll meet you in the next video. Till then, this is your host Puneet. Namaste.